So there's a third round of this Assassin's Creed Origins information. Information. I say information. Take that with a pinch of salt because it's probably fake. But a site, WWG, has an article in which they relay information about this. But there's also information here that I haven't heard before. I've never been told before. And believe me, if it's public and about Assassin's Creed, I've heard of it. And this is something that I haven't heard. So I'm like, what the... Now, I don't know what this site is relaying, and I'm in no real rush to get this out, so I'll probably throw it up as Sunday's video, so you'll be seeing this on Sunday, because I genuinely don't see this as a thing, but, I mean, at this point, it's just echoing, and there are different things that I've not seen from that one thing that's going on, and it just feels as if, it feels as if it's something bigger at play here, maybe, so I thought I'd relay this information regardless. So, on the site by WWG, I believe, we have an article here that is giving us some information that I haven't heard elsewhere. Now, this could be just rounding up loads of details about this that we've been given throughout the years and then thrown the Assassin's Creed Origins malarkey on top. But some of this is the first time I've heard of it. So I wanted to get it out there because it's quite interesting. Although, like I said, nothing is confirmed. Take it all with a pinch of salt. There is still a good chance that this is just some long face faking it so the article is titled next assassin's creed is named origins rumored to feature naval combat i don't get how that there's a lot of information in here apparently and that's what they consider relevant now if we scroll down we'll read the article together shall we so assassin's creed is set to return in 2017 back from its brief hiatus after having skipped 2016 for keen fans of the series, however, the incessant leaks emerging from this year's instalment have almost made it as though it never left us. As E3 2017 looms, these leaks are only becoming more frequent. Under the veil of anonymity, Ubisoft sources have approached us before to provide fresh details from the part of this year's game. I, I, don't, I don't know what, how reliable this is, but it goes on to say, Previously, the good folks at Kotaku indicated that the project's working title was Assassin's Creed Empire, and this would take place in Egypt. Since then, we've received new information that suggests the game is now called Assassin's Creed Origins, and is currently to be scheduled to be revealed at E3 2017. Please forgive my reading. I don't particularly know my reading. I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> So, the next thing it says is, Our sources suggest that Origins is a vast open world experience taking place in ancient Egypt. The story is rumoured to revolve around the original Assassin's Guild and will feature two main characters, a man and a woman. Which is... what? Okay. Uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, did that work? We'll, we'll have to see. I don't know, is that a thing? Uh, I'm not saying it is or isn't, but is that really going to work? Its structure is said to be less linear, featuring a character progression system less tied to the story. A development source we spoke to compared it to numerous times to Bethesda's Skyrim. They say that impressions of the project internally are so far positive. Well, uh, yeah, that I don't quite get why they'd want to take this route. Assassin's Creed isn't meant to be full RPG, so if this is a thing, that's quite confusing. I'm not sure it's a thing, though, so, you know, yeah. The game will apparently grant the player considerable more freedom, featuring a greater emphasis on exploration over previous entries in the series. One source tells us this is the biggest Assassin's Creed the company has ever created, and is huge in scope. They say that it will, has been in development for at least several years now. Hopefully, it will benefit from its extended development cycle. Now, of course, I'd expect it to be the biggest Assassin's Creed ever, and I'd expect it to benefit from the extended development cycle. And I've expected it to be in work for a long time. So that's not necessarily stuff we don't already know. I'm hoping that this is legit stuff. Not only is Origins rumoured to boast an explorable ancient Egypt, players will also apparently be able to go beyond it, possibly even as far as Greece. We were told that boats will return in the game, allowing the player to sail the Mediterranean. Naval combat naturally is also said to be included. Uh, well, okay, this is where I start to not believe the source that's given these guys this information, because surely they'd want to focus on one country. It's not a tiny country either as Egypt, it's not huge, but it is a relatively large place. There's a lot of stuff to do there. I wouldn't understand why they'd add in Greece or whatever there. That I mean, I get the open world, the sort of fleshed out, and the sort of like how The Witcher 3 does. Velen, then it has Novigrad and Skellige and stuff like that, but I'm not... 
entirely sure if that's what they would do with this because those world spaces, although quite large on their own, they're not as large as you'd want them to be, say, if it was Egypt and Greece and stuff. And I don't see how that would necessarily work. However, with games like The Witcher 3, like I said, that it could very well work. And then the final paragraph says, Another source linked with Ubisoft described to us an internal video they were showing of a teaser for Origins. It apparently began by showing scenes of Egypt before transitioning between different periods and locations throughout history, including an Asian country, World War II era France, and modern day Abstergo Industries facility. It isn't yet clear whether this video, a blend of gameplay footage and CGI, will be shown to the public in its current form. Assassin's Creed Origins is set to launch in fall 2017. Now, most of this stuff, the bottom two paragraphs is where I start to think, what? Maybe the bottom three sort of thing where it starts to sort of, it starts to give us stuff that make, makes it believable in the last two paragraphs. I'm not entirely convinced at all. I mean, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, yeah, well, it just seems like wishful thinking or maybe if this is legitimate, it's a bit too ambitious, which is half an issue, but it could be good. Who knows? I don't know if this is legit or not. I'm just saying I probably think that the sources are spewing a load of crap and this is not necessarily what we're going to get exactly. Not an accurate representation. It could be wavering to it, but I feel as if there's something here that just feels like it's a bit too much. Egypt is a probably a great setting for Assassin's Creed, but having loads of settings, having loads and loads of settings, is that really going to work? Now, this site is claiming to get this information from an insider and I'm not sure if I 100% believe that an insider spewed that much information. A lot of it does seem a bit naive to think like some some young kid has just gone, oh yeah, then you get to explore the entire world. You know, they don't quite understand how big games can actually be and that there is a limit and things do start to get unrealistic at a point. And I do believe having Egypt and then Greece and the Mediterranean and stuff like that, that starts to not be believable especially if they're going to do this how I particularly envision it being, which is a massive open world space in Egypt, which would be lovely. I don't understand why they'd do that unless the world spaces aren't as big as we initially expected. They could still be quite big, but just not as big. But like I said, this has been done before with different areas. In The Witcher 3, we have Velen, Nova. Was it called Novigrad? I don't fucking care. Skellig, Skelliger, and then you have the DLC um, area down there, which is called Tucson, and then you have that that place that you start, whatever it's called. You know, the point is, it's possible that they could do this, just not in one world space. That's a thing that they could do. And then they said that the naval's coming back. Now, I personally don't see how that would necessarily work. It would work in the setting, probably, but I don't see why they would do that. Why would they bring Naval back? I suppose it did work in Assassin's Creed a little bit. It wasn't the best feature I've ever seen in Assassin's Creed, but it could work. They could easily do that. And then you have this exploration in the Mediterranean, which means you'd probably be able to explore other areas, not just Egypt and Greece. I could see that happening as well, but I don't necessarily see how they could do that in an Assassin's Creed game quite, quite to the best standard i'd just be happy with just egypt and i feel as if every rumor has just suggested just egypt there's nothing there's been nothing of these other settings there have been rumors of a trilogy there have been rumors of other settings yes but there's never been this rumor of a mix so i'm starting to be very doubtful of that and i've always been doubtful of this origins thing and i'm telling you now i feel as if it's just a bunch of crap but it could be real but you're gonna have to let me know what you guys think on that one I just wanted to relay this information because I haven't heard some of it before. I mean, some of it we have. Some of it is just telling us information that we already know, like the Kotaku business and stuff like that. But some of it we just haven't heard. And that's what really got me to make this video because I wanted to relay that a little bit. Just so just so we, just so we all know the full extent of this Assassin's Creed Origins stuff. This is my third video on it. What happens when we get a bit of news of Assassin's Creed? Everybody else just makes one video or none. They just don't give a... I make seven. All right, see you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. My mother called me on the house phone. Sorry, guys. The article also tells us that the game is intended to explore the original Assassin's Guild or Brotherhood and will feature two protagonists, which is something we haven't heard before. 
So that's information that we haven't heard. A man and a woman. Of course, this could be just grasping at straws because that's what they did in the Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Maybe they like that format. It wasn't the worst thing ever having two characters. But the thing is, what happens when you have two characters is there's going to be an imbalance. Like with Assassin's Creed Syndicate, there are about five missions as Jacob and then one as Evie in each sequence. And then there was one sequence which had more Evie missions than Jacob and the rest of it. It was just, it was just not very well done. I don't feel as if that's the best way forward for Assassin's Creed per se, being about genetic memories. I don't see how you can seamlessly go from one to the other just like that when it comes to the characters. But this, on my end, it's speculation. On their end, it's rumours from some inside source that they claim to have. And I don't know if I believe it. I don't want to believe it because I don't... I wasn't the biggest fan of the two-character format where they had two protagonists. And I don't really like the idea of them going outside of Egypt. I mean, if they can do it and do it well, great. But, I mean, I just want to see them focus on Egypt, to be honest with you, because I feel as if that would be a good setting. And, I mean, there are a few doubts in my mind that they're going to go to Egypt. But the, this article is just very suggestive that they're going to be thinking outside the box and outside of Egypt, so to speak, as well. And I don't see that working, per se. Also, the article claims that the experience will be less linear. So they've been referring it to, apparently they've been referring it to as something more along the lines of Bethesda, Zelda Scrolls, 5 Skyrim, or Fallout, or whatever. It just seems that they're trying to be more in line with the RPG category rather than the action-adventure, sci-fi, whatever the hell fantasy Assassin's Creed happens to be. But, I mean, I don't know if that's going to work. It could do, but I don't want them to take away from the Assassin's Creed experience as it is too much although we already were sort of told that they might be starting from scratch with this one and there were earlier rumors that they were going to be doing a new engine sort of thing so that's there do i believe this article per se um i don't know if i'm honest with you i don't actually know there's doubt and then there's a bit of confidence in it really i don't know there's some things that i can believe other parts that i just don't and that's the bottom line, really. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think. I decided to do a face cam for this one because somebody complained about having the same gameplay over and over again. So I decided I'd just show my sexy, my sexy, my sexy face. Uh, uh. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe and share. Comment. Let me know exactly what you think about this. Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? And I'll see you all in the next one with another video. So, yes. Yeah.